These are the dams I was talking about. We're doing this a little different way here. We're not dry setting the ledger. So we had the holes there and then you gotta put a dam over there and let the concrete come to the surface. These are the bolts here for the garage door backing. They don't need to be dammed out. There's no shear on them. That's just to put the uh, backing on there to hang the garage door. We put a little plywood dam up there because we want solid grout under that pier Here's some glass beam. block windows that go in there. So we only have the one corner on. You can see the staples there help hold the corner in place. Again, we got the window bucking in there. We're going to have to take that sill out before we grout. You always want to double and triple check your plumbing. You don't want to be filling up a sewer line with uh, 3 8 minus 3,000 PSI Get it all grout. Braced up, then you pull the braces out so you can grout the window sill. But you want to make sure everything's going to fit when you're grouting. And then, Shorty, he's putting an X here and an X there so we know which end uh, or which direction the sill goes. Just pull it out of the way. And then we can get in here and grout all this bond beam there. And then when you look down in here, you can see the anchor bolt tied to the rebar. And then we've got the wire on the back side pulling it. You can see we've got this all decked, nailed off. There's no grout see the bond beam yet. down in there. Bottom. Here's a pretty good view of the house here. That's a block that's going to go on this second deck here above the garage. Looking good. We'll be grouting tomorrow. The bond beam on top. We've got the hose Again. here ready to go. We're just waiting on the concrete truck. Pumps out. The mid truck's here. We're going to start putting it in. You want it at about a six or even an eight inch slump. You want it pretty wet. See how it falls through the screen. That's what we want right there. The access hole first. Typically we do the windows, but there's no uh, low windows in this garage, so we're just starting with the access hole. Lindsay's running the keyhole saw in there like a probe. All right. Woo! See, Al threw some scrap dust on there. And that kind of acts as a sweeping compound. You see Lindsay probing again. That way you can tell where the concrete's going. Just put that plug back in then, put a nail in there and put a little glue. When you come around, around it. it'll be all set up. Watch I'll do this one. All right. Just that simple. We're gonna be putting another uh, eight feet on top of here, so we wanna hold that grout down a little bit. Once it fills up, then it moves real quick. You just wiggle the bar like Shorty did there, and that kind of uh, vibrated on down. All right, we got the walls all grouted here around the garage for the first floor, and we have the rest of the house grouted halfway up. Uh, five foot and we're gonna come back and run this second deck up here and when we get that up then we'll go ahead and grout this and grout the second half of the other we're area here. Really really smooth absolutely perfect getting the second story up now looks a lot bigger now that we got everything out of the way got all the block up going to be grouting here in a little bit. Got the grout on its way.